Okay, here's a quick video on how to use a rotary compression tester. This is the tester. It uses a paper feed, that, uh, like fax paper, and gives you a trace of each individual lobe. This thing is hooked up. We've got it hooked up here to the bike. That's the tube running down to the tester. Then over here, I always use a separate battery, so it's hooked up to its own power supply. And what we're going to do is crank it up. So, I turn on the key so I can hit the start button. And I turn the, compre the tester on because the tester takes a second to warm up. So as soon as that paper starts moving, we're going to hit the start button. There it's moving. And it should have given me a reading. Let's take a look. And that one, what we're looking for is that all the peaks line up and they're real close. Now, as you can see, it takes it a second to ramp up, but what I'm concerned about, or what the, the best indicator is, is right there. See how these peaks all line up? We got a good motor. And that motor is running about 130 PSI. So this is a new motor. That's about what it should be on a brand new one. And it looks good. So we're ready to go. Okay, this is a compression test on a Suzuki RE5 when you don't have a rotary compression tester. The rotary compression tester, all it will do is separate out the lobes. This is a quick and easy down and dirty way to get a general idea of the health of your engine. All right. So I've cleared the gauge. The gauge is clear. It's hooked up. You just screw it into the spark plug hole. The ignition is on so I can hit the starter button and I'm going to hit the start and we'll watch what happens. Okay. As you can see, it bounced right up nice and quick and you could see individual bouncing as the lobes came by but I just tested this bike using a factory RE5 compression tester and it said about 130 PSI which is fairly close to what this gauge is saying however every gauge is a little different unless you are using very very expensive calibrated equipment you're not going to really get an accurate compression test. But uh, we're not really concerned with accuracy, exactly the number. All we care about is whether or not this thing is good. And right here, this says, this is a good motor. This thing should fire right up, home like a kit. There you go.